Firstly, what are hypersonic weapons? Hypersonic is basically depicts the speed with which that missile is flying. Okay, any speed up to say five mark or beyond is considered to be uh, hypersonic. And uh, when it is carried on a carrier and then released somewhere near near space, then it gives very less time for the opponents to defend against it. If that particular missile is also armed with multiple uh, re-entry vehicles, then you find your defensive system against missiles is going to come under pressure. So hypersonic missiles basically defeat, try to defeat the enemy, the adversary's ballistic missile defense by one speed, two by having multiple independent re-entry vehicles. Okay, so that is the main crux of this hypersonic uh, weapons. But as far as um, strategic stability in South Asia is concerned. At the moment, what I know is there are only two countries which are actually working on this. One is China, other one is India, as far as South Asia goes. Of course, Russia has got one which seems to have been used in Ukraine recently. And uh, US, of course, is having a, having a program on this. So, the issue that comes up is, if these two countries are the ones which are going to be using or developing this kind of a weapon, you find that it is not actually going to affect the other countries. It may be affecting only these two countries. So if this comes up, the stability factor I don't think will get affected very badly because of the hypersonic missiles, but it will be one weapon in the armory of each of these countries which can be used to beat the ballistic missile defense system of the opponent. So to that extent, the missile defense capabilities need to come now start thinking about how to defeat this. So this is typically a, a cat and mouse game, like you have the armor weapons, anti-armor weapon comes up, the armor gets improved, then again the anti-armor weapon improves. So it's a kind of a tussle that keeps going on and you will find that kind of a tussle going on even in this field. So it is basically what you need to do is to understand the speed with which these missiles are going to be launched and the number of warheads that can launch, that can be launched in one missile. So if that can be defended, I think that that is the way to go. As far as um, uh, strategic stability is concerned, I don't think there will be a major difference as far as this is concerned for the other countries. Maybe yes, between China and India, there may be a little bit of an issue on this. But at the moment, this 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 uh, technology is still far from being employed in a normal manner, operationalized. It will take some more time. Mm -hmm.